Not again. I get the feeling that you're not really, um, and this is my humble opinion, you're not really getting in tune to this whole Hunter thing. How many times have you died already? Two. Four. Ever since you came by, you've died additional four times and still haven't beaten that beast. <sighs> are you I just pack up and leave I mean nothing says you have to be a hunter yeah, it just means a lot of people will die without your services <sighs> look I didn't ask for this but the only reason I'm here is because I want to want to all because I actually want to you know be cured and now I am it's just you feeling dead to us so you think being a hunter will be you know yeah a way to say thank you well you ain't gonna really be thanking us more like flipping us off every time you die so I suggest you get with the program, kid. Okay. Um. But seriously, it's just so difficult. It... Listen. What do you think was going to happen? As soon as you got sent back, you'll be a martial arts master? That you instantly know how to fight and kill these things? Well, yeah. Ugh. Listen, kid, the, this is the real world. It does not work like that. Seriously. If, if it were that easy, do you know how many hunters we would have by now? We would pretty much be raining the blood down from above if, the, if it was really that easy. <sighs> but, uh, I guess, at the very least, you don't have to worry about getting sick or dying for good. The only thing is, you're pretty much just wasting our time. Especially when it comes to the weapons we gave you. Well, it's better than me trying to fight something with a cane. What? Wait a minute. Don't tell me you really think that's just an ordinary cane. This whole time you've been fighting, yeah, isn't it? I mean, done it. I was trying to figure out how it would be useful, so I figured uh, maybe I'll just unscrew it and there's a sword. Oh, you. You foolish. Foolish boy. What? No, that. Grab the chain. Chain cane. Wait, what? Eh, we're well, still workshopping names for it. Now, tap, tap it two times. As soon as he does that, he sees a... <laughs> Whoa, yeah, it's a chained whip. Well, razor whip. Oh, actually, yeah, that works a lot better. But if anything, yeah, it's meant for longer distance as well as maneuverability in certain situations so you're saying this thing isn't just a sword or nope in fact I'm pretty sure that weapon could really help you just remember once you leave you can't just switch out a weapon you gotta come back here and exchange it. <sighs> Understood. Good. Now try not to die this time. And as soon as he goes back, he's like, I can't believe I thought this was an ordinary cane. As soon as he turns it into a whip, he wraps it around the beast's neck, pulls and shreds until, yeah, 
the head lops off. Zuku, he's the... Oh, hell yeah. I can't wait to show my mom. Wait. Oh. Damn, I've been gone for 10 months. She's probably worried sick about me. But now she, she, as soon as she learns that I can't die completely, I'm pretty sure she'll be overjoyed. As soon as he leaves the hospital, he realizes, oh wait, there are a lot more monsters as he gets killed again. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. How? Did you even? Yes, I I beat that werewolf thing. Ugh. So what killed you this time? Uh, this tall man. Is it, oh, those, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, those. Huh. Yeah, they can be mistaken for regular people. So like, that does explain why you you were uh, your guard was down. Yeah, you gotta look at it like this. You gotta always stay on guard, kid. Really? Yeah, or else you will die. Again. Huh. Oh, yeah, and there's also this other thing when uh, some people can only take so many times dying until they lose their minds. What? Oh, yeah. We have our hunters go completely batshit crazy all because they keep dying and <sighs> the fact that they can't stay dead uh, actually drives them to be insane to the point where they crave death but keep dying just to come back it's <sighs> and there's also people who uh, go mad with bloodlust excuse me we haven't told you any of this? No! Oh. Huh. Well, I'm telling you now, so. <sighs> Better late than ever. I, if, if you would have told me about the cane, the dying, the, the point where people could get crazy with bloodlust, I would have been a lot more careful and strategic. Maybe, but yeah. you can't teach you everything. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta learn things on your own. I, I, I can't deny that. I, I legit can't. Good. Now go back out there and start the slaughter. Uh, oh yeah, another thing. Be careful around people. Huh? Oh yeah, the world knows about us. They're just scared. Why? Because we are highly dangerous murderous killing machines who can't die. If we decide to band together to form our own country, every other one will have to bow before us or sign a treaty to pretty much let us do whatever we want you know because we're we could be a literal immortal army hell just one of us can take out how many normal people uh huh I I didn't even realize. Yeah, so might want to think about that before you go pay your mommy a visit. Wait, how did you? <sighs> you don't have to be a genius to realize how much you miss your mom, kid. You still wear that necklace, wear a picture in it. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, don't be embarrassed. It's sweet. Just remember not to do anything too reckless. Last thing we need is your mom showing up down here. 
trying to find you and end up getting slaughtered. You mean she would actually? Kid. You have no idea how much a caring, devoted parent will go through for their child. She brought, well, sent you here in hopes to cure you. Good thing it worked. But she suspects that something bad might have happened. Or have any reason to go, go, uh, you know, come find you? She will not survive. No offense, it's just facts. So, yeah, try not to die too much, trying to go crazy with bloodlust, and kill as many monsters as you can. Bye. But. Wait, so do I always have to die? He's like, no, no, no. <clears throat> Tell you what. Find lanterns. As soon as you light it, you can uh, choose where to come here or stay in the other world. Well, real world, technically, but still. Really? Yep. But... Uh, if anything, like I said, be careful and do your best. Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a polite kid. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> All right. Who's first? As yeah, seven months go by with Izuku pretty much slaughtering whatever monsters he comes across. Unless there's really a contract for that he wants to make some more money or, you know, the monsters in his way. He most likely won't even bother with it. Unless, sadly, there is a cry for help. In which, he's a good being, feeling like he's uh, responsible for hearing the cries of the anguished. He has to. He he may not want to. He wants to get home to Inko as fast as he can, but he he feels very obligated to help anyone. In which, there's a girl. So, uh, don't tell me. It's just like those storybooks that mom used to read me, the tales on distress. Please don't. Oh well, as he slices the werewolf beast in half and huh, strikes a pose. So, thank you, you, you saved me. As she looks and sees the gears, like, you're a hunter. You're bloodborne. Yeah. Bye. Wait. Hmm. Um. How can I thank you? What? I mean, you saved me, so don't you have? Uh, don't you need payment or something? What? I I I just saved you because you screamed for help. I doesn't mean I need to be paid. As you just you just looking her up and down, like, down boy. No, no, I mean wait, what? No, nothing. Uh, just uh, yeah. Bye. Wait, you you could at least uh, um, what? Walk me home. I kill monsters. I'm not an escort. Uh, what if I made a contract? Huh. Eh, just put, just uh, pin it up somewhere and I'll get to it. And she just grabs him by her arm, so like, please, I don't want to die here. What makes you think I want to die? 
You can't die. On the contrary, we can. We just get the privilege of going back. You have the uh, ability to actually go to heaven or hell. This is a never-ending fight for me. I, uh, uh, size, what, what's your name anyway? Uh, <clears throat> Namuri? Alright, Miss Namuri. I will escort you home, but that's pretty much it. I got other things to do. Alright. Fine. As they walk into town, he's like, okay, that's as far as I'm going. Wait, no, I'm not home yet. <sighs> Fine. Fine. As they keep going around town, people are looking at them. They see... Some of them look either intrigued or disgusted at seeing, seeing uh, those two. Was, Damn it, this is exactly why I didn't want to. Oh, calm down. If anything, as yeah, he knows his way. Most of the ones staring are women. They're like, wait, why are they looking at us like that? I mean, like, no, they're not looking at you. They're looking at me. Okay, I'm home. As he sees, like, wait, where are you looking up? He's like, uh, no. This is a, this is the, I, what? You ever been to a brothel before? <clears throat> sure, sure I have. It's just, it's been so long, like, Really? See, uh, <clears throat> uh, I gotta go. Wait. No, no, I, I, I'm leaving. G goodbye. Yeah, but, mm. What's your name? Hunter. Your real name. Bloodborne. You know what I mean. Izuku. Izuku Midoriya. Hmm. I'll remember that. Izuku, he's just... Whew. Okay, that, that almost escalated quickly, didn't it? And then, yeah, one just minds their own business. Some people still give him dirty looks. It's just like, mind your own damn business. As he leaves. Who's that? My hero. Uh huh. How much did you pay him? Or what did you pay him? Oddly, nothing. What? You know how they can. Well, he's apparently different. I might have offered on the way here, but he insisted. A hmm. A hunter who doesn't care about being paid or not. No, I've seen everything. Yeah. If anything, let's just <clears throat> get back to work. Your clients have been wondering where you've been. Seriously, those are some sick old men who... Huh. But... I guess if it weren't for masochist, I wouldn't be much use to you, now would I? <sighs> Whatever. Time to go work. Midnight. <laughs> As a... You can hear the quack of a whip in the background. And there are screams of both play, just plain pleasure and pain in the backgrounds. Oh, man, that almost got weird.
But now I just got to worry about getting home. Mom must be worried sick.